The Voice from the Bush After a long time, the king of Egypt died. Moses was taking care of the flock of Jethro, his wife's father. Once he led the flock to the other side of the pasture and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of Jehovah appeared to him in a flame of fire in the midst of a thorn bush. As he looked, the bush flamed up without being burnt. Moses said, I will stop here and see this wonderful sight. Why the bush is not burned up. When Jehovah saw that Moses stopped to look, he called him from the midst of the bush, Moses, Moses. Moses answered, Here I am. Then God said, Do not come near. Take your shoes off your feet. For the place where you are standing is holy ground. He also said, I am the God of your forefathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses covered his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. But Jehovah said, I have certainly seen the suffering of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry of distress because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. I have come down to rescue them from the power of the Egyptians and to bring them out of that land into a land that is beautiful and wide, to a land with plenty of milk and honey. I have heard the call and cry of the Israelites, and I have seen how they suffer at the hands of the Egyptians. Come now, I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and should bring the Israelites out of Egypt? He answered, I will surely be with you and this shall be the sign to you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God upon this mountain. Then Moses said to God, If I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your forefathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I answer them? God said to Moses, I am what I am. And he said, Declare to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. Go and gather the leaders of Israel together and say to them, Jehovah, the God of your forefathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has appeared to me and said, I have surely remembered you and have seen what is being done to you in Egypt, and I have declared that I will bring you up out of the suffering in Egypt to a land with plenty of milk and honey. They will listen to your voice and you together 
with the leaders of Israel, shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, Jehovah, the God of the Hebrews, has appeared to us. Now let us go three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may offer a sacrifice to Jehovah our God. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless he is made to do so by a mighty power. Therefore I will use my power and overwhelm Egypt with all the marvelous deeds that I will do there and that he will go and he will let you go. Moses said to Jehovah, O oh, oh, oh Lord, I, I am not able to speak well, for, for I am slow to speak, and, and slow in saying what I think. Jehovah said to him, Who has given man a mouth? Or who makes one deaf or dumb, or blind, or able to see? Is it not I, Jehovah? Now go, and I will be with you and teach you what you shall say. And your brother Aaron shall speak for you to the people. Then Moses went back to Jethro, his wife's father, and said to him, Let me go again to my people in Egypt to see whether they are still alive. Jethro answered Moses, Go with my blessing.